I love old masters. I love impressionist and modern art. I love paintings, but I always felt the most comfortable in 19th century. And the greatest discovery of my career comes out of that area. Over the course of 35 years at Sotheby's, out of everything, what stands out in my mind is the fall of 1986. And a client called up and said they had a painting by David. He said it's called The Farewell of Telemachus and Eucharist from 1819. This was a wonderful love story that was taken from book seven of Homer's Odyssey. I immediately went to do some research on the painting and found that we had sold the painting in 1950. From 1950 to 1986, it had not been seen by the public. It was really considered lost. In doing my research on the painting, one of the things that I noticed, the definitive book on David at that time listed that the 1950 sale in New York was of the painting by David's student, a woman called Sophie Rood. So anybody who would have researched the painting would have seen that and thought, Without question, the painting that this man has is not the original David. In researching it further, it was clear that the painting that was sold in 1950 was not the Sophie Rude painting because of the signature and the dating difference. The David version was signed on the quiver, and it was dated on the horn, and that was the difference. I explained to the client that what he has is the original painting, so it was a discovery and really made a big splash when it hit the auction block. The painting comes in, and not only is it perfectly genuine, it is spectacular. It was unlined, it was never been cleaned. Even the nails were these old original nails. That were the nails David used when he stretched the canvas. It was literally as if it had come right off David's easel. The most exciting moment was when Andy Warhol came in, and he stared at the painting. He said, oh my God, I wish I were a painter. And I said, Andy, you are a painter. And he sort of just lifted an eyebrow up. I think what he was saying with that one lift of an eyebrow is you're looking at a masterpiece. We had estimated the painting to sell between two and three million. Before the sale, a woman called up and said, I need to come in because I'm gonna be bidding on the painting and I need to talk to you. She then said, I wanna have a signal so no one knows I'm bidding. And she said, if I'm holding my pearls, I'll be bidding on the painting. So the painting comes up and then she immediately went like this and she held her pearls out. I thought she was gonna choke herself until the bidding stopped and she was the successful bidder. The painting sold for just over $5 million. She was acting as an agent for the Getty Museum and that's where the painting hangs now. It's not the most expensive painting I ever handled but to me it was just handling greatness and having it have the immortality of being in a museum collection.